मांगने के है So today's video is going to be all about this wig from my first wig and how you can get this bob in five minutes. So I'm doing another series on how you can easily put your wig on, quick and easy, simple, put out, and be on and out your way out the door, okay? And we're going to talk about how cute and bomb this wig is because ain't she cute? I think she's cute. So if you want to know how I did it, then just keep watching. So to start, I wanted to show you guys the construction of this wig. It is a full lace wig, and it has two combs on the sides, as you guys can see here, and a comb in the back with an adjustable strap. So you've got lots of security here, especially for this super duper easy method. So I just wanted to show you guys the inside of the wig in case you had any questions about it. Okay, you guys, so like I said, this is going to be how to put your wig on in like five minutes okay so you need a wig we already know mine is from my first wig i'll have all the details about it down below it's just a cute little bob because they're easy to put on they look good and it's easy okay so my first wig also provides you with what is known as an elastic band the elastic band method is the perfect way to put your wig on okay guys so basically what we're going to be doing is measuring this band for our head and sewing it onto the wig. A lot of people ask me to show how to sew it on, so that's what I'm gonna do. It is so freaking easy, you guys. So easy. So first things first, you wanna take the elastic band. You can buy this at Walmart, Target, um, to use on your wig, although my first wig does provide you with it, so you don't need to buy it if you already bought one from my first wig. You get what I'm saying. So anyway, so I have my piece. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it behind my head, and I'm measuring from ear to ear so you want to pull it so that it's pulling kind of tight but you don't want it to be too tight so you need to kind of feel it like this feels a little too tight in my opinion so i'm going to give it a little more slack so imagine it pulling onto your wig all right so that's you want to make sure you don't do it too tight so i kind of measured that i need my piece to be about this long so i'm going to go ahead and trim it right here so this is my piece of elastic so where you're going to be sewing your elastic at is on the ends of each side of your wig. So here and here. That's it. So I have my needle and thread already threaded right here. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Once you've got this band on, you guys, you can have your wig on in literally less than a minute, girl. How you're going to do it is you want it to lay like this flat so you've got it here you're just going to take your um band lay it flat take your needle and just stick it through and just loop de loop and pull it's like tying your shoes once you have your first piece attached it'll look like this so you see how the band is on there so as you guys can see that's all it is and then you just want to make sure you do it on the other side so now you've got your band completely attached you guys so like i said from side to side you have this band and this right here girl it's gonna hold your wig on it's gonna be a life savior okay so now moving on to prepping our hair for underneath the wig you guys know me i'm a two braid kind of girl so i'm just gonna put my hair in a wig cap really quick ah, oh my god okay wait 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 and uh, then we'll get on to applying the wig so i can show you guys how Taking the wig cap that my first wig provides. I already y'all know these are like my favorite wig caps of all time. I don't know where they be getting these wig caps from because I cannot find them, but they're the shit. You're gonna take your elastic band, put your head in the wig, and just pull that bad boy back. And then you just slide the rest of the wig on. I 
And that's literally, like when I say literally, I literally mean literally, that's it. And then you're just gonna comb it, comb the wig out if you need to. And that's it. Like, so after, you know, just running a little straightener, just through the end to get it nice and, you know, back polished, this is it, you guys. And then you can easily just take your wig off at night. Like, it's not glued on your head. There's no glues. You're not getting your hair dirty, your wig dirty, none of that. You're not damaging your edges. Even though, you know, not saying that if you use glue, you're damaging your edges, but a lot of people are concerned about that. So... And this wig, you guys, is a bomb. Like, y'all know I'm a long hair kind of girl. I don't really do a lot of bobs. But I wanted to try something different. So I did this blonde bob. And it's in this nice, warm, honey blonde. I love it. My first wig did a very good job. The only thing that I wish was that the blending from the roots to the blonde was just a little bit better. But it overall is a really nice wig. I'm going to do a 360 so you guys can see the back and everything. Hold on. So pretty, right? So cute. I really don't know what the back of my head looks like because you guys know I can't see back there. So, but um, yeah, your wig should be nice and secure. Don't get in a fight, it will come off. Um, you know, don't be in too aggressive out here. But other than that, it's good, you guys. Like, you literally can go through your whole day with your wig and be fine. It might shift a little bit, like maybe a teeny weeny weeny bit, but you just pull shorty back and you good. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this series of getting your weight nice and slayed in under five minutes. 